Hello everyone and welcome to my first, very first let's play. The game in question, as you can see on the title screen, is Sonic the Hedgehog. And that was too slow to do this intro. So, Sonic the Hedgehog everyone. We start in the lush green hill zone. The gimmick of Sonic is, he is fast, he is blue, he has an attitude, and he just runs fast. Green Hill Zone is a, a great example for a very first stage because it's easy, you can understand all the mechanics. Sonic has two real methods of attacking in this game. He can jump, jumping into enemies no matter the direction, unlike Mario, will destroy them unless they're protected from a certain direction. Or you can roll into items, pressing down while you have some speed. Green Hill Zone... Eh, not, not just Green Hill Zone. A lot of the games in the Sonic franchise tend to have great soundtracks. And... As you can see, we're fighting robots. These robots are created by the evil Dr. Robotnik, or Eggman. And yeah, we passed the first stage. The first stage is on very hard. To create it by Eggman to stop Sonic on his way. Eggman or Robotnik, depending on what you think. And now we're in a special stage. The special stages have, we have one goal. Collect the Chaos Emeralds. And after collecting the Chaos Emeralds, yeah, win the special stage. The Chaos Emeralds don't do anything in this game except for alter the ending. And it only gets altered when you have all six of them. Now we're back to Green Hill The way to, en to enter the special stages, by the way, is to collect 50 rings while well, do that. While heading to gold. The rings act as Sonic's form of life. Getting hit will cause Sonic to lose all his rings. And getting hit without rings will cause Sonic to lose a life. Losing all lives will result in a game over, and you have to start the game over from the beginning unless you get a continue. Continues are obtained in a special stage by... Yeah, collecting enough rings. And As you can see... Robotnik is very evil because his power source for creating his power source for the robots are little forest critters and we must stop him from doing so. As you can see me fill in this special stage, this run does not collect the Chaos Emeralds and merely just goes into the special stages whenever I get the possibility. Act 3 of each zone is different because instead of a regular exit, we will have a boss battle at the end. Those walls can be rolled through, but they look suspicious. Let's talk a bit about the enemies. See me, Phil. The, the Green Hill Zone has five different types of enemies. Those are the moto bugs you see on the screen right now. That the, this is a neutron, they come in blue and green. Green shoots, blue fires itself as a missile. By the bridges, you have choppers. Just destroy the boss bomber. Just, just jump out of water and try to jump you. And buzz bombers, they fly, then they stand still in the air and fire a bullet at you. And, and crab meat! The crab robot. He just stands still and tries to shoot. Well, he does move around, but. He generally just is easy to dodge because he's quite predictable. Spikes! 
our major enemy in in this game for only one reason this game they ignore the temporary temporary invincibility you get from getting hurt meaning that they can instantly hurt you again thus killing you because you don't have time to repair get new rings meaning dodge spikes at all costs they're me and here's our first example of a boss here is the evil Dr. Robotnik in his egomatic and he'll try to swing this ball at us ball can be easy to dodge but you can't get hit if you mistime your jumps and being careless but as you can see if you know the pattern it's quite easy this concludes the Green Hill Zone by saving all the forest critters Eggman had stuck in his robotization machine, I guess. And in the next episode, we'll go off to the Marble Zone. See you then!